What is up guys, Nordsafe here, welcome to my channel. Okay, uh, thanks for the support of the previous video, much appreciated. Uh, we are at the uh, top of the stronghold in hell, right? With the giant anus above, and uh, the reason why we're here is because I was wondering uh, where we could find uh, boxes like like similar to Zog boxes from Undermountain, and actually shout out to Nova for showing me how to get up here. I didn't really cross my mind to do some uh, climbing up uh, around the actual stronghold, around this shield. Uh, and so I'm going to show you actually really quick uh, the location of the merchant. So here he is. This is Yuma the Curious. Yeah. So let me turn on the UI. Uh, this is Yuma the Curious and uh, uh, he's very small. He is. He is very small and he's in the middle of this nowhere actually. So this is why I labeled it like a secret merchant. Because it is, it was like a secret to me. I really had no idea it was here. Uh, so I was with Integrity and a couple other guys who were farming uh, heroic encounters. So he, he showed me this. So much appreciated, man. Anyway, um, yeah, we can get some good good stuff from here. I will show you soon, and I will show you how to get here. Actually, the the shortest way. We kind of took the longer way. Doesn't matter if you like to climb up or do a parkour or whatever. Uh, this is the way. This is the place to be, it is. Uh, so I'm gonna show you, we're gonna start in front of the stronghold and I'm gonna show you actually how you can get there, okay? And we'll check out the gear and whatnot. All right, let's go. All right, here we are. So we're gonna start in front of the stronghold. So this is the entrance. If you were here, if you're watching this later on, it uh, doesn't really matter. Uh, just one more, one thing. Uh, yeah, I know there are some changes to Barbarian. I'm gonna wait for the patch to actually go live on the preview before I actually do anything about it. It's some minor adjustments to magnitudes. So yeah, thanks for pointing that out. I already saw it on the forums. So we, we will check that out. We will we will check it out. So anyway, I am going to show you how to get up where I actually was up there. Um, so let's go on. We're going to go around here where the dummies are. And uh, I was actually also confused where the merchant was. So here he is. This is where you can exchange seals. We're gonna just quickly show how it looks like. The seals are uh, seals of the fallen <coughs> for the infernal armor, okay? And it's it's a pretty good armor actually, um, but uh, there's still a lot of time. Uh, I need to check other stuff and uh, the seals you can get from the new dungeon or from the heroic encounters. Uh, and it's a random drop, so yeah. Uh, also, you can exchange uh, seals of the deep and a lot of other, a bunch of other stuff that's really not important. Uh, so yeah, this is where you get new shirts, new pants, whatever. I will make another separate video about it uh, in the next few days uh, regarding the gear and what's interesting. But we will check out uh, the the gear from this merchant. Uh, I'm sure Reiner will do uh drop when he gets enough currency the drop rate and whatnot what you can actually how much you can actually get stuff so around the stronghold we go uh, we're gonna pass these imps and these imps too we're gonna take a hard left left here and uh, this is where you actually can climb up so let's go don't mind my abilities to climb i'm not really good at this so yeah anyway <coughs> this is where we go um we're gonna go up now mind you, there <laughs> could be a shorter um, shortcut or a better way to get up here, but uh, this is what they showed me, so I show you guys. Uh, so we're going to pass this big chain. If you like to do stuff like this, you can go up the chain. Uh, I think Integrity tried to fall off, so I'm not going to do that now, okay? So it's the chain. Uh, we're going to go up here. And we're going to just keep going up as long as we can climb everything is good then again we're gonna have to take a little a little a little little round here <coughs> and this is actually where I always get stuck so yeah there's that up, up, up. come on there we go alright so we go more up here is the view and you can see there is a little entrance here so it's made that you can actually enter here it's pretty cool I actually like this I really do you go up to the roof all the way up you can check it out you can walk on the roofs no problem there and um, this is where we go towards the merchant okay another entrance here 
and uh, we're going to just take a left here. And here we are. This is where we started at the beginning. And here's you, Madu Curious. Oh, he is very little. He is. Um, and anyway, here is uh, where you can buy a bunch of stuff. Now, you can get the Fallen Stronghold Tainted Water. The currency is uh, Chaotic Writings. Now, I already spent uh, all I had. I didn't have a lot, maybe for four or five boxes. I don't even know. Uh, thing is, you get these writings from the quests, as I showed you in the first video. And also from the uh, from the her demonic encounters, heroic, whatever we will we'll just call them heroic encounters. Okay. Um, now this uh, tainted water is used for um, is used for this this diluted holy water for restoration. Uh, mind you, I did got mine from the mob mob drop. If you wish, uh, I don't have everything else. You're gonna need hundred writings also, and then you can uh, restore it to volatile holy water. Okay, so it will splash the ground in front of you uh, with holy water, killing all minions and stunning enemies for 5 seconds, and boss damage is decreased by 10% for 10 seconds. It has a 2 minute cooldown, so keep that in mind. We will we will deal with that when I restore it, so yeah. Now, this is Yuma's or Juma's surprise bag. Uh, now it costs 300 writings. It, it is quite a lot. You need 3 big heroics for that. Um, and the drop rate is, um, you can get a vanity pad, similar as Zog boxes from the under mountain uh, and piece of rare level 80 gear um, so that's actually I was actually really interested in that I wasn't really sure where to get these these bags uh, and I eventually got this helmet uh, it's 1225 item level Veil of the blinking beast um, I can show you the comparison between um, highest item level from under mountain here so some combined rating defense power maximum hit points uh, critical strike and awareness uh, and if we compare it to, pr to um, Spy Guild or Apprentice Salad, uh, you can see here uh, combined rating, defense, 1248 power, almost 5k hit points, etc. Um, regarding the bonus, it's not that good. Um, it, it actually, uh, when you kill an enemy, there is a 20% chance you will teleport to a nearby enemy, and I was teleported all over the map, so, but I just equipped it for a, for a showcase here, okay? Now, if we go to the collections, so you can see these are antiquities of Avernus. So, um, there's a, there's a, some good gear here, okay? I only got this one, and it actually there's a, I think it's a mistake. It says Rare Monster Oddments, and I got it from the uh, Juma box, like it says uh, on, on some other gear. I can show you this in just a second. There, Juma Surprise Bag for Barb Cultist Graves. Now, the gear is pretty cool. Um, I'm pretty sure it's it's a mistake, but uh, it sh it will probably be fixed. So there are they have other concerns currently. So um, the gear itself uh, gain 300 power for each enemy, uh, maximum for 4500. Um, we have at the start of combat uh, we got some nine health denizens helping us, increasing power for 5000. Um, what else? Uh, when struck, uh, gain one percent damage, stack five times. So pretty, pretty decent gear you can get from this. Um, now, not everything comes from the Juma bag, but uh, let's let's see what comes from the bag by their uh, description, okay? So we can get the bracers, gain 1% damage resistance when you strike an enemy, stacks five times. When, you s when you're struck, the stacks are consumed and you gain 1% damage per stack, consumed for 10 seconds. So um, uh, it can stack five times when, you, when I'm struck, when the, when the enemy hits you. Uh, we're gonna get if we have five stacks, we're gonna get five percent damage for ten seconds. So fairly decent, and uh, you can see the the difference between what I'm wearing and and this ones. Okay. Uh, now let's check the armor. I don't know if there is an armor from the Juma box. No, there is not. Okay. Uh, so we're gonna go to the feet. Uh, Cultist graves. When you ever critical strike with your powers, you have a 10% chance to reduce your maximum hit points 20% and gain 3% damage for 10 seconds. I need to check that out actually to see how much I'm going to lose. Uh, in my case, uh, it would be I think 72,000 hit points overall. I don't like that, but yeah. Uh, what else? Let me see the one that comes from the... We already showed you this one. 
and there is another helmet when you kill an enemy gain two percent of your maximum hit points as a shield not that bad but still um, there are a lot of mobs in the new dungeon and in the era we are farming so uh, it could be useful i don't know i need to check it out uh what else that's that's it from so the yuma bag is one two even though it doesn't say i i did need to recheck this and see how it actually works okay uh anyway um yeah so uh this is it for now uh cool little stuff if you're testing on a preview you can check it out um this is where it is i show you the seal vendor and uh i will i will update more videos so this is where we actually started okay anyways thank you for watching guys and i will see you soon i hope this will help and you can exchange your thing is if you're actually testing this so uh, until next video i will see you soon and bye bye